Over 400 inches of antler, Mark and Taylor Drury take down a couple of giants. I'm Matt Drury, and this is a special cutting room floor edition of DOD TV. If you watched last week's episode of 13, then you saw Taylor Drury have an encounter with a buck that they called Superstar. Well, spoiler alert, she ends up seeing him again, and this time, well, she connects with her PSE. What are the odds of having the October lull phase come and go, and then two mega giants that deserve their own shows, frankly, all get killed in the same phase? Taylor killed Superstar, giant mid-180s Iowa buck, and the picture history I have with this particular deer from two and a half to three and a half to four and a half and five and a half when she finally killed the deer, just an awesome history of this deer. You can really see how he grows through the years. And in the show, it's condensed into a short little piece. But in reality, that buck was out in front of them like 10 or 11 minutes eating in that particular traveling greenfield that we had put in for structure right in front of that blind. The real story started whenever she made the shot. Taylor's only shooting 41, 42 pounds. That's what she can handle on that Premonition HD. She's shooting an inch and a half Rage SS, and she had good penetration, but we had to make sure that penetration was there. We got the arrow, we examined the arrow. Then we went back to the house and we watched that footage over and over and over again. And we wanted to see whether that arrow had indeed penetrated far enough to hit that heart, because that's the area of the body that she's in. I tell you what, that's not as, you know, when you sent me that phone clip at first glance, I looked at it small screen and I was like, hit shoulder. Okay, look at that though. You can actually see the shoulder right here underneath his hide. Okay. It's right there and there is a crease that's very defined right there that if you got through that and through that blade, like you're in there. In the meat or the muscle or? Well, through the muscle and into the cavity. Okay. Looks like decent penetration there too. It does. Like I'm very encouraged, Taylor. Like ideally, if you're gonna be tight to the show, I mean, ideally you'd hit him right here, but if you're gonna be tight, you wanna be in this area right here. Right. Cause that's meat and blade as opposed to shoulder and bone. And that's where you it's hit. In that pocket. And that blade, can you back that frame up, Wade? That blade looks like it opens vertically, which is even better because there's all kinds of arteries and piping that comes in right there between that heart and those, those lungs. There you can there, see Right there, it. look at there, yeah. open vertical, which is look even better. And you are, can see the shoulder, you can see the bone structure right there and you're behind it. I'm feeling a lot better. Me too. Like a lot better. You can better. see so much more on this than you can the... Let's look at your this. arrows. I wanna see, you okay. retrieved your arrows, so I'd like to see that too. It looks like it's into that there, because there's blood up to here. There's blood up to right there. there. And that looks like that's what it looks like. Well, if that's the case. That went in there. Fourteen inches. Fourteen inches of penetration. That's a lot. At minimum, where it broke is eight. Eight. Just shy of eight, which is enough to kill a deer. If you're in eight inches, you should have gotten. You know, if it's eight, she's oh, yeah. long, possibly heart. If it's 14. What we determined was it was heart or nothing. Let's go look for the deer. Lucky there. Oh, yes. He didn't go 100 <laughs> yards. All that worry for nothing. 
all that worry for nothing. Holy smokes. Scotty? Yeah. We Bam. did it. Waiter. Uh, we, we did it, Scotty. Him. Oh, yeah. That's a, look at that giant, guys. At the end of the day, the deer ran about 75 yards and Superstar was down for the count. That's proof that you can go out and kill a deer in the mid 40s shooting about 25 inch draw with an inch and a half range broadhead. Well, Taylor, I want to wish you a very happy congratulations on what I dare say is the largest bow kill of your life. I know it. What a way to start off phase three, the lull. The lull, no lull this year. No lull, Superstar is down. Cousin Taylor stayed persistent, she waited for that right moment, and she got the perfect shot to let her rage fly. And that PSC did the job. Just goes to show you, you don't have to be a bodybuilder to get the job done. If you thought that was a giant, then wait and see what happened a few days later in the phase. If you have followed Jury Outdoors for any length of time, I'm sure you may have seen or heard about the 217 inch mega giant that Mark Jury harvested last fall. A few days after Taylor killed her 184 inch superstar, well, Mark had an encounter with a deer of a lifetime. You know, I've hunted the better part of 35, 40 years. I started hunting when I was 14 or 15 years old and here I am at age 50 and to kill two gross 200 inch deer plus two years in a row, that's just the odds lining up. That's just a numbers game. That's just pure luck in my opinion. We had the deer to hunt and luckily we got to see those deer and then eventually get a shot at those deer and be lucky enough to make the shots. I may never have another opportunity at a deer of that size or magnitude. So to do it two years in a row, I just consider myself very, very lucky. The two hunts were polar opposites in how they played out. Bucktober, we watched for some 35, 40 minutes before I finally got a shot. And when it came down to danger, I literally had just a few minutes to see him, enjoy the moment, and then make the shot. We freaking did it. We just killed him. He's a giant, buddy. That's the deer we've been hunting. I've been doing interview after interview. I would not hunt any, anywhere else. And I passed some good deer. But that's the deer we were hunting and we just killed him. Yes, we did, man. Yes, we did. Boom, baby. <laughs> thank you, Lord. That was phenomenal. And thank you, Tracy. You would have been not here today if she would have not been here because she's traveling. We were going to go somewhere for her. Celebrating on the 17th. So you're gonna. Because she knew how much this deer meant to me, and we saw the weather forecast together. But maybe I love you. Same type morning we had last time. <laughs> Same type morning. Dude, my whole body is numb. I got him. Had one window right there. This is the scene of the crime. We had to come back and get a few things. Danger literally came through all that brush. We couldn't see him on the blind side of the blind. Came to that grass, got to right there, 20 seconds of pre-roll, and I shot him out of that vertical right there. The reason I brought that muddy bull in about five days ago was because the trees are too small to hang here, and I felt like we were in his bedroom in at the end of all this grass. Woo I had to bring Taylor down and show her that. <laughs> Danger is dead. We are uh, enjoying the day just a little bit. <laughs> yes, we are. This is surreal. That it is. If you watch 13, you know there's not a lot of pre-roll. However, the story really gets rewinded a few years prior. I had encounters with him at age two and a half. I had an encounter with him, Tom Gallagher and I did at age three and a half. And then at age four and a half, Wade and I saw him two or three different times, but he had broke part of his rack off. And I really felt like if he made it, he had a chance to be just an unbelievable Iowa deer. So it would be nice to rewind the clock just a little bit and look at the progression of how this deer grew from age two and a half all the way into when we killed him at age five and a half. Enjoy this montage.
Joker's going to be a giant, isn't he? He is, for sure. I mean, he's the next superstar. You know, after EHD, after EHD, we lost so many deer that there's not a lot of, what you would say, like strong genetics left. Mm -hmm. If he survives and makes it to five or six, that deer's going to be one for the uh, one for the ages, I think. Mm -hmm. The next, the next, uh, I don't know what you call it. He's a new beginning. New beginning after EHD. Bigger than Ranger, ain't he? Yeah. He looks healthy as a horse, too, doesn't he? Mm hmm. One of the things about Danger, we didn't have a lot of pre-roll in the field. However, I had some incredible Reconyx video that we just simply didn't have time for within the show. These clips and these pictures are phenomenal. Just the buck of a lifetime doing incredible things full frame. And Reconyx, see what you've been missing? Well, here it is. It's their saying all wrapped into one piece. One of the coolest Reconyx clips I think I've ever laid my eyes on was a camera that was about three or 400 yards away from where I actually killed Danger. Pulled in, had him in the back of the truck, pulled the camera, and when I looked at it, I was like, oh my goodness. That morning, prior to killing him, I've got one of the prettiest pieces of Danger just walking right by that camera. And if you look off in the distance, that ridge up in the, in the skyline, that's where we were sitting and that's where we killed him. So the pre-roll for this hunt really happened on that Reconyx camera. I often do a lot of winter feeding with Analogix Supplement 365. 
and danger any time that I would feed in that particular area, he would be the first deer on it, and I mean, he would stay there until it was gone. So to see the jumps that he made, in the back of my mind, I wonder whether Analogic Supplement 365 didn't have just a little bit to do with that. This is what it's all about, and to have him on the ground and share it with people that you love and enjoy hunting with, it was just uh, one of those days I won't soon forget. So enjoy all these extra moments from the field because uh, they were certainly important to us. I hope you guys enjoy them. Oh my goodness gracious. Holy cow, he didn't go anywhere. Oh my goodness gracious. He is a giant. I mean a giant. Woo! I don't know what to say or where to even begin. I guess I'll start by saying happy anniversary, Tracy. I love you and thank you for understanding who I am and who we are as a company and a family. And she actually sped our anniversary up and said, we're gonna celebrate it today because that cold front's coming and I want you out there. And sure enough, her intuition paid off with no doubt the largest deer of my life. And it's just been a story of all stories, hunting just an Iowa giant five and a half year old buck. I could not be more excited. Is this deja vu? I mean, last year he kills a 211 inch Bucktober giant once in a lifetime deer. Fast forward a year later and we have danger down. Mark Drury truly is the mad scientist and every inch of that 217 inch buck, well, he deserves it. Thanks for watching this week's special edition of 13's Cutting Room Floor only on DOD TV. To catch all the latest and greatest, make sure you subscribe to that Drury Outdoors YouTube channel. Until next time, thanks for watching.